Hey there, thank you so much for watching. My name is Shannon Hernandez, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. And today, I wanna talk to you about that annoying buzzing sound that you're getting in your podcast recording, the final podcast recording. Uh, Some of you out there who are beginning podcasters, or maybe some of you out there who are seasoned podcasters, you have been kind of just dealing with this podcast sound that is a buzzing noise. And what we call that buzzing noise is overmodulation. What overmodulation is, is the... Uh, input that you are putting into the microphone or the overdrive that you're putting into the microphone, if I were to put this in simple terms, is it's, it's you're overdriving the microphone. So you're getting that buzzing noise. So getting that buzzing noise depends on a couple of different scenarios. One of those scenarios being the distance that you are from the microphone. So as you can see right here, I don't know if you can see the microphone, but I'm at a pretty good distance from the microphone. And a lot of podcasters, they like to hug the microphone or they like to eat the microphone. And I don't recommend that anyone really does that. Um, Most people think that that is the most uh, useful way to utilize a microphone, and it just isn't. It it limits how you say things. It limits your ability to move around and use your hands if you're speaking with a microphone. And it just makes the sound just not that great. And you're having to adjust levels that just aren't natural natural speech for you. So an example of overmodulation, excuse me for doing this, I'm going to get close to the microphone, is that when you're up on the microphone like this and you feel like you need to be on the microphone, some of the podcasters out there, they do have pop guards that are out there. And I personally don't use a pop guard just because the audio that I'm using for my microphone is actually, I'm actually speaking straight ahead. And I'm not speaking directly into the microphone. So this is the problem that most podcasters get. They get a popping sound and they get a overmodulation sound. And I don't personally recommend that you do that. I personally recommend talking to the side of the microphone so that you can get the best possible quality audio. Now what happens when you get that buzzing noise? Can you fix that in a digital audio workstation, a DAW, like Adobe Audition or Pro Tools or Audacity? And the answer to that is very simple. No, you can't really fix that. What you are putting into the microphone is what you're going to get out in terms of sound. This doesn't mean volume, this means sound. Now volume has some effect on this, but sound is what is captured in your audio recording software. It's in your portable recorder. What's being captured is the final sound that you're going to get. Now, you can go through multiple different types of treatment when you go into something like Adobe Audition or uh, Pro Tools, but the reason why we record into microphones with certain levels is so that we aren't getting that buzzing noise. I recently did an edit for a a band that had uh, brought their audio to me. Actually, this was for the radio station. They brought this audio to me that uh, a band had recorded. And they had recorded with very basic microphones that didn't have really an amp. It was a direct line input, all right, or a DI, a direct input. And the audio was very, very low. Now, I recommend that if you're going to record audio, don't have it almost silent, but have the audio lower than normal. Okay, the reason why I like having it normal is because of what I do in the post-production process. More than likely, you are editing your podcast in Audacity or maybe, um, or maybe Adobe Audition. I, again, personally recommend using Adobe Audition because there's more functionality and you get a better sound when it comes down to the post-production process. So in the case of this piece of audio that I was editing, where the volume was recorded very low, it was actually too low. And I had to fix the audio to where it sounded more audible so that you could hear it coming through the headphones. And we'll give you an example of what that's going to look like. Not with that piece of audio, but with a different piece of audio. So my recommendation to you is that record your volume or record your podcast, whether it's you speaking into a microphone or it's a phone call that's being fed into your mixing board and into your digital recorder. Maybe it's a portable digital recorder or maybe it's Adobe Audition. Make sure that your levels are set to where the meters are not peaking in the red. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here shortly. Make sure your meter's not peaking in the red when you're recording. This is very important. When only when you're recording. Make sure that things are not peaking in the red. Make sure they are lower than the red. So if you need a number, I would say record at about negative 12 decibels. 
when you're recording, and I keep emphasizing when you're recording because this is very important for the later process down the line. So again, that's for phone calls, that's for Skype calls, and that's for your microphone recording into the microphone, okay? So let's go ahead and jump on over to Adobe Audition. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in terms of levels and what the appropriate levels are that you need for your recording. So as you can see here, this is a piece of audio that I recorded just before I recorded this video. And it's recorded with this Blue Yeti microphone that's a USB microphone that is input, in, it's an input directly into the USB uh, port on my Mac, okay? So that's what you're getting. That's the sound that you are going to get and that's the sound that you are going to hear. Hey everybody, thank you so much for listening to Be The Experience. My name is Shannon Hernandez and today we're going to be interviewing Stephanie Peets a motocross writer and, of course, a model by day and night and, of course, bartender, too. So that is the audio that you are getting with Adobe Audition, just recording basically like a direct input. There's no processing. There's no processing rack hardware that we've used to create any audio. This is just very raw sound, okay? Now, you'll notice here in this recording that I can already tell that this recording is peaking out at about maybe negative nine decibels. And the only reason I can tell this is because there are meters over here on the right hand side of the recording and there are meters down here on the bottom that will tell me how loud this recording is. So I know that from the very beginning of this piece of audio, this piece right here, this peak right here is about at negative nine decibels. So if we go all the way across, you see that it's about negative nine decibels. That is the loudest point of audio that you will hear in this piece of audio that I've recorded. If you look at the rest of the audio, you can see that it's a little bit lower. So we're looking down here at about mm, maybe negative 16, maybe it's anywhere between negative 18 and negative 12. These, this is how loud that audio is. Okay, now that's fine when we're recording, okay? But I wanna make this actually sound a little bit louder. And the reason why I want it to sound louder is because the problem that we have with podcasting is that listeners have a problem turning up the volume. They have a problem turning up the volume and hearing what is being said. The technique that I've, I'm talking about right now is a technique that I talked about in a previous video. It's where we use Smash Dynamics where it normalizes all of the audio to be a certain level. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply that technique, which is called Smashed Dynamics. I used either Smashed Dynamics or Radio Announcer Voice. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use Smashed. Hey everybody, thank you so much for listening to Be The Experience. My name is Shannon Hernandez. and So that's how that sounds right there. Now, let's go ahead and use Smashed Dynamics and apply and you can see that the audio has been changed the audio has been changed and it looks like it's raised up just below negative three decibels we will be able to confirm this in the meters below when we see what is peaking in the red or or the yellow okay so let's go back to the beginning piece of this audio and pay attention to the meters down below, and you'll see that they'll be about negative three decibels, maybe just a below negative three decibels. So we'll press play. Hey everybody, thank you so much for listening to Be The Experience. My name is Shannon Hernandez, and today we're going to be interviewing Stephanie Peets, a motocross writer, and of course, a model by day and night, and of course, bartender too. So you can hear that the audio has definitely changed. So again, remember, your volume is going to be determined by a couple of factors. How far you are away from the microphone or how close you are to the microphone. And the number two, the gain input that you have on the microphone or the gain input you have on your mixing board. Those are very important factors. So I recommend that you record, record first at about negative 12, the input, whether it be on your digital recorder on your dig or on your digital workstation because you can always come back in in post-production and fix the volume problems. I hope this has helped out and this video has helped out. 
leave a comment or a question down below in the comments and let me know what you think about this video or how you have solved problems with audio or overmodulation in your own podcast. I'd be more than happy to see what you guys have to say or happy to see what other solutions that you guys have. This is a solution that I've been using for many, many years. It seems to have worked out great for me. Might differ between uh, different podcasters, but I just want to be able to provide a different solution for you in case you're coming up with a snag. So again, I appreciate you guys so much for listening. Make sure you uh, rate, subscribe, and leave a comment, and we'll be talking to you soon.